Welcome to the Green Living Show 2011. I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase. I'm here with Tom Rand. He's the lead clean tech advisor at the Myers Discovery District. How are you doing today? I'm well, thanks. How are you doing? Wonderful, thank you. Good. And what are you doing here at the Green Living Show? Uh, well, I came to deliver a talk called Kick the Fossil Fuel Habit, Necessity, Possibility, and Difficulty. Now, you are a venture capitalist. Why would you be here giving talks? Well, I, uh, I think one of the single most defining problems that we have uh, in a democracy is how we motivate people to ask for the change that we need at the political level to clean up our energy infrastructure. So what is the biggest barrier out there? Well, I actually think one of the biggest barriers is it's very easy to do today what you did yesterday if you made a ton of money yesterday. So I think our professional classes, the people that run our oil companies and our, and our uh, coal companies and our energy companies, unless they're really motivated to make a change psychologically, why would you do something different if you didn't get fired yesterday, right? Okay. So I think it's psychology. Well, I would think in those positions, a lot of those jobs, what they do is a very technical thing. There's a lot of administration. A lot of those positions can be translated into other fields. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's no reason a coal company can't be an energy company. There's no reason an oil company can't be a biofuels company. The management structure, the capital, the, the engineering, the expertise. Yeah, they've they're, they've got the infrastructure in terms of capital, expertise, and physical infrastructure to become an energy player. There's no reason they have to only sell fossil fuel-based energy, but they're not yet convinced that they need to do it, whether they should do it. And this is the kind of the middle-aged professional manager who makes a ton of money. Why would they stick their neck out? So how have we figured out a way yet to help people make that leap? Oh, we know what the solutions are. The solutions are, for example, a price on carbon. Right. Tax and dividend is my favorite example, very simple. Tax fossil fuel at the source, distribute all the money to the general population and have them spend it as they see fit. And that way you've changed spending habits. Green bonds is a way of having pension funds and the regular Joe public have a way to move their capital into that infrastructure. Government backs the bond, private sector administers it. So there are ways to do this. We know what the policy options are. Fundamentally, what people like me are saying is that the role of government is to shape the market, not to find the market, shape it. Right. The market is not like a tree that we discover and we, we operate under its rules, as the Chicago School would, would have us believe. We're not worshiping at the altar of the free market. The market is an invention. It's like an iPod. Mm -hmm. So the challenge is, how do we engineer the market? How do we send the right signals through the marketplace to have it react change where capital flows. So private capital now flows to where we need it, which is clean energy infrastructure. I got it. All right, well, I'm hearing exactly what you're saying. It was a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Emmanuel Beliveau, and you're watching Exhibit Showcase.